This is lesson 8-4, which is modeling with quadratic functions. Our essential question is what kinds of real-world situations can be modeled by quadratic functions? So our first example says a company offers rectangular pool sizes with dimensions as shown. Each pool includes a deck around it. If Carolina wants a 15-foot wide pool with a deck, how many square feet will she need to have available in her yard? So first part is to write a quadratic function to represent the area of the pool and the deck. So you can see that um, the pool deck is four feet in addition to the dimensions of the pool. So that means if we're talking about the whole length of the pool, it would be 2x plus 4 in either direction. So that would be 2x plus 8. And then the width of the pool would be x plus 4 feet plus 4 feet. So that would be x plus 8. So we can write a function, f of x. We can say 2x plus 8 times x plus 8. And then we can FOIL that and get 2x squared plus 16x plus 8x plus 64. And then we can combine the 16 and the 8, the 16x and the 8x, and we get 2x squared plus 24x plus 64. So there's a quadratic function to represent the area. And then it says to find the area. So it tells us in the problem that 15 feet wide. So that tells us that x is 15. So we want to find f of 15, which means everywhere there's an x, we're going to plug in 15. So if we type that into our calculator, we get 874 square feet. That is our area of the pool plus the deck. Okay, the next concept is vertical motion model. So we can use this basic formula um, anytime we're talking about vertical motion. So V sub zero is our initial velocity and h sub zero is its initial height. So we can fill in those values to calculate the height of an object at a certain time. Okay, so our example is a diver jumps off a high platform at an initial vertical velocity of 16 feet per second. So you can see from our picture that the platform is 30 feet high. So we're gonna write the equation the, function, the height as a function of time, so that would be negative 16 t squared plus our initial velocity is 16, so 16 t plus our initial height, which is 30. So then it says, how many feet above the platform will the diver be at the highest point on his dive. So we want to find the vertex of the parabola. So we know that the vertex is going to be x equals negative b over 2a. That's our x coordinate. And then we can find our y by plugging that back in. That's an a. So that would be negative 16, because that's our b, over 2 times negative 16, which is our a. So that would become 1 half. So at a half a second, the diver is at, its, at his highest point, the maximum. So then to find that height, we need to plug in one half into our function. So that would be negative 16 times one half squared plus 16 times one half plus 30. I can't. <laughs> I'm out of space. Okay, plus 30, there we go, oh, still being picky. Okay, so then if I plug that into the calculator, I get that the height is 34, which it says how many feet above the platform. So if the platform's at 30 feet, that tells us we can say four feet 
above the platform. So these are some real-life applications of quadratic functions. Let me know if you have